Let's talk about our channels. Our channels are used whenever we want to compare or relate two systems, but instead of relating them only at the level of the whole, we want to relate them at the level of the parts. So an R channel is literally named after the channel that we open up in between the sets of parts, and that allows us to create these relationships across the parts. And that, in a nutshell, is an R channel. I would imagine there R channels are everywhere. Like I was just thinking about, you know, I would start with really simple examples like yeah. our kids. We have a bunch of kids. Yeah. We have a bunch of tasks that need to be done. We're going to have to divvy them up yep. somehow. So that would be relating it at the part level, right? The kids are parts of our family. The tasks are part of a list. Yep. And you might have more tasks than you have kids. So let's Usually, do a bunch yes. of tasks. And we know we want to relate the kids to the task. So let's relate each kid. So this is kid one, kid two, kid three. Those are the actual names of our kids. And <laughs> You're going to relate them across and notice that it doesn't have to be one to one. It could be related like, you know, this might be mow the lawn and this might be take out garbage or something like that. And, you know, and then you might see, oh, that's, this kid's got three. So let's make sure this kid has one and this guy got another one and this task is left. And so we yep. apply that. They'll let us know if it's unequal. Yes, they'll take care of that from their perspective. Exactly. It also reminds me, so that just looking at the structure reminds me of all those like comparison charts and like Amazon. And, yeah. and when they list like the features of something and they tell you, yep. you know, more about it in a sort of parallel way. Yeah. So you could have product and let's say value proposition, right? So the product has all kinds of, you know, features or elements to it, and we want to relate the product to the value proposition to the customer. Maybe there's three main value propositions, right? So it might be, you know, the product could be like a computer. Yeah. yeah. And it could be, you know, the megabytes that it has or the megahertz that it has or the, the size. Graphic, the graphics cards. The graphics That's cards. What they talk about. Yeah, exactly. And that could lead to, you know, speed. People want it to be fast. Uh, they want it to have lots of photos and they want it to be, you know, small, let's say. And so this might, these might relate to uh, that. And, and then, and then you might even find, Hey, we got this, this element here. What's it doing? Well, it doesn't, it doesn't really relate to any of the value proposition. So why, why does it exist? What's it for kind of thing? That would be a good thing to find out actually. Yeah. All right, so let's challenge ourselves for one more example. Sure. Let's do the in real life thing, which they say IRL. I just learned this. You know, IRL. I'm becoming more hip as I age. Yes. So you're a system yep. of parts. I'm a system of parts, and we are having a conversation. Okay. So let's convo. our channel that. So here's the convo, and this is Laura, and this is Derek. Let's say we're having a conversation about like, you know, where we want to go on vacation or something like that. And you might list these are all the things that that you care about and what you want to do. And I might list what I want to care about and what I want to do. And we kind of relate them. So like, you know, is there a beach or, uh, you know, are we going to go hiking or something like that? And Or beach. Or beach. <laughs> <laughs> so... You know, what are, what are, how are, what you are thinking of for the vacation versus what I'm thinking of and how do we relate the, the, the different parts of that together? That's cool. Yeah. That's it for our channels. <laughs>